Today's video is something a little bit different. I've got uh, some challenges and some discounts and some free patterns for you and a little bit of a competition at the end. Keep watching. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name's Sam and this is Frugalissima where I talk about all things sewing, specifically dressmaking. And today I've got a little bit of a different video. I'm going to call it Frugal Friday. I'm going to try and do some sort of regular video where I sort of bring to you uh, some free patterns, some challenges and some discounts and some bits and bats that I've seen through the week. So I'm not intending this to be a comprehensive list, so everybody in the dog seems to be having a sale this week, so it would be impossible for me to, to do everything, but just things that have caught my eye, that have dropped into my inbox, or that I've seen on Instagram or Facebook, uh, that I thought everybody else would be interested to know, and we could share, and share alike. Uh, so if you've got any, any things that you want to share, just drop them in the uh, comments box below, and we will build a little community around this. Uh, and share any sort of, uh, if you see any challenges or any competitions uh, and let us know and we can uh, put them in next week. So I'm going to start straight off with four free patterns that I found this week, starting off with uh, one from, I've got a bit of paper down here by the way, so because I can't possibly remember it all. One from the assembly line and that is a two piece leisure set, I think they call it, or lounge set rather. Um, or you can call it pyjamas if you want. It's drafted for uh, woven fabrics and uh, it's short sleeve top and shorts. If you want to make it as pyjamas, if you're not, if you're in the Western Hemisphere and you're not um, going into summer, you could just extend the shorts into, into long length pyjamas. You might struggle a little bit with the t-shirt because it's a grown on sleeve. So to add sleeves to that, it would make it very, very fabric hungry. Um, but you could, either use a plantain tee as a top or you could draft longer sleeves onto it uh, but just a bit like the if you've seen the molly molly top uh, do something like that so that you're drafting it onto the existing grown on sleeve so the shorts have pockets elasticated waist sizing below i thought i'd written it down on my bit of paper and i've not got it so yeah they're a swedish company i've never actually used them before but i have printed off the pattern and read the pattern instructions and it is it is drafted for um you know for, for beginners and uh, yeah drafted for somebody who's five foot five if you were if you were making them longer then you'd do them to your own size and you would need between 1.7 and 2.3 meters of fabric so we'll insert pictures of what i'm talking about so you can have a look <laughs> i've said before um you know free patterns are a, a great way to try before you buy if you like with uh, with pattern companies and and the assembly line i've have heard of them but i've never used their patterns before uh, so yeah, there are, it's a good way to see how uh, patterns are drafted and how um, how things come together, you know, and how the instructions read. So if you're looking for something a little bit more adventurous, Mood, uh, the American fabric company, have lots and lots of free patterns. One that's caught my eye this this week is um, the coat, and it's called the Cardoon coat, coat. It's got a funnel neck. It's got a drop sleeve. It's lined, the uh, fabric recommendations for it was like a quilted denim. So it'd be lovely and snug. I don't think as far as coats go that the instructions look particularly complicated. The only thing with mood is that the instructions for constructing a pattern tend to be on uh, as part of a blog post. So um, if you need your hand holding a little bit more, if you, if you are a, a very beginner, then that might not suit your your style of sewing. So just briefly, it's it's ideal for colour blocking. The um, main parts of the body are made out of panels and within the front panels there are hidden pockets, a little bit like the Nina Lee Carnaby um, skirt and dress where the, where the pockets are hidden within that front seam, if you're familiar with that pattern. And it looks like the sleeves are actually rolled back, so you've got a, a cuff on the sleeve that's turned back. So their particular example is made with boiled wool, and they say that you can use boucle or um, cashmere if you can afford it, or any other coating material, material, I would imagine. The fabric that they suggest using for it, uh, if you add it all up, it comes to over £100, which is a little bit eye-watering. I would imagine that you could uh, buy boiled wool a little bit cheaper than than what they're selling it for. So in terms of um, ease of construction, there are no buttonholes, there are no zips, 
It does have a fastening, it's just a, a like a press stud fastening, uh, so no buttons or zips. And they have extended their size range of move. I'll put the size range below in a box whilst I'm talking because I've lost that as well. <laughs> so yeah, three, three metres in total of main fabric, a, a metre and a half of each if you call the blocking. In a bit I will mention that they've got a, a Black Friday sale as well, so if you can pick up the, fab the fabric that they've used on the Black Friday sale, then you could save a little bit there. So next up I've got So So Easy and they have got a pair of joggers. They have had uh, jogging pants on their website before, but this is, a, this is a new one that's come in, in the last couple of days. Call them the City Joggers. They are a little bit different in that they've got um, front pleats. They're not, they're not made with like a sweatshirt uh, fabric. They, they are recommending that you use a cotton or a, a lightweight cotton or viscose jersey. So a little bit smarter than a jogging pant, I would say. They've got a cuff on the bottom and they have described them as somewhere between a pair of snug le leggings and a pair of cosy sweatpants. So I've got an elasticated waist and a tie. Uh, just to keep them more secure. The tie I wouldn't say was entirely necessary um, and they are sort of suggesting that you use grommets to put the tie in but you could use button holes as well. So yeah I think the, the little cuff at the bottom makes it a little bit and the pleats makes it a little bit different from your normal uh, jogging pants. Uh, no side po pockets but if you wanted them in I'm sure you could draft those in. Probably omitted those because it's such a lightweight jersey and they would, it would distort the line of the fabric. Uh, they are suggesting that you need one and a half yards of fabric for it with 20% elasticity. Uh, I've used so easy patterns before and um, I think that the instructions have, have always been very good. They are within the blog post. I don't know whether for this particular pa pattern there are separate instructions within the uh, downloadable PDF. Again, I'll put the sizes below. It is quite a large size range. The only little thing to comment on this is, number one, there isn't a seam allowance included. So you will have to put your own seam allowance on. So not for people who don't like doing that. Uh, but it does give you the opportunity to um, put whatever seam allowance that you particularly like on there. So if you if you prefer to work with a 3 eighths of an inch or if you're not sure of the size, put a 5 eighths of an inch on and then you've got a little bit more wiggle room. And the pattern is free, but they direct you to account where an account where I think you might have to go through like a payment process, and there is an option to donate to their Kofi account there, which is reasonable. I mean, they they put on a lot of free patterns, and it's down to you then whether you you donate or not. And finally, a new to me pattern company that I've not used before is the Ensemble. Uh, pattern. They have the Greco tee. I'm not sure how long this has been available because I've only just discovered this one whilst I was looking for Black Friday deals and uh, I spotted this tee on here. So this is a, a slouchy tee and it's got three options for sleeves and three hemlines. So you've got a curved hemline, straight hemline and a high-low and then you've got a cuffed sleeve normal sleeve and a short sleeve. Got the measurements here, so it's drafted for a 32 inch bust to, to a 46 inch bust. And interestingly, the height that they draft for depends on the size bust that you go for, which I think is a little bit odd. <laughs> just because you're a 46 inch bust doesn't mean you're taller, but that's, you know, that's just by the by. You just, just to keep that in mind. Again, it's a t-shirt, so your height, won't make too much of a difference, it doesn't come in at the waist. If you want a slouchy effect, it's good for the drapey fabric. If you want a boxy effect, go for something a little bit stiffer. And a good opportunity um, for beginners who have never used, no, never done a, a neck binding. Uh, there's a, a neck binding in there. Uh, and to build your skills a little bit. And just dropped into my inbox as I was preparing for this video was from Closet Car Patterns and they have just released uh, a little doggy coat pattern. So I would imagine that you would have to subscribe for their newsletter because they usually do for their free patterns and they've already had their big pattern sale so they've not got any Black Friday deals but I think they've brought this out as a, like a, as a thank you because it is Thanksgiving after all to their customers basically. So that's, that's a nice little cute one if you're wanting a little doggy coat for a Christmas gift. So onto discounts and sales. Rather than give you a long list of all the companies that are offering discounts and sales this week, I thought I'd just mention a few that have especially caught my eye, either because it felt it was a good discount 
or that they're doing something a little bit different. Uh, most of these I've dealt with before, so I can recommend them. So to start off with, we've got Sew Over It, who's got 30% off most things on her website. So all paper and PDF patterns, ebooks, magazines, and classic courses and selective fabrics. So that's no code required and it's on until the 30th. So, so a few of my favourites of Sew Over It have been the Heather Dress, that I've made that three or four times. Fantastic pattern, great for this time of year, comes up really cosy and snug for this time of year for us coming into autumn, winter. Uh, and the Vintage Shirt Dress, another one that I've made three or four times. Uh, love that pattern, absolutely love that pattern. And the first ebook that she brought out as well, the City Break one, I've made everything except the coat out of that one. So that's one that I can recommend. Tilly and the Buttons has also got a 25% off sale. Uh, it looks like all of her patterns except her latest one, which is a Billy, and that's all printed and digital patterns. That lasts until the 29th of November, and there's no code needed for that. And the most recent favourite of hers has been the Ariel, which I've got on now. I'll bob a picture of me wearing the Ariel because uh, you can't see from the distance here. Stylarker, another company that I've used. I've made their Parker coat. I wear it every day. They're offering 30% off until the 2nd of December. Need a code for that. I'll put it down below, but it's BLKFRI30. And that's all capitalised. Ensemble patterns, which are the ones that I've just mentioned before with the Greco, Greco t-shirt, um, they have a whopping 40% off uh, sale. Uh, no code needed for that. Really like their Sunday everyday sweater. It looks like a, an ordinary sweater at first glance. Um, but it's got some really nice features on it. I think there's about six views on this sweater and the side seams are at an angle so the back comes to the front and then yeah it's got some in interesting high and low features as well. I'll, show, I'll, I'll bob some pictures in for you so you can see. So I've not used their pattern company before, I did just recently discover those. So very quickly a few others, a few quick men mentions. Ellen's Closet has got 30% off all her patterns, no code required. Um, the only thing I've made of hers is the poster tote and it was well drafted and the instructions were really good so I could recommend hers. So House 7 have got 25% off everything um, of their patterns. I've made their Montevilla dress three, three or four times and the toaster sweater three or four times. Definitely could um, recommend their patterns. Megan Nielsen's got 30% off. Itch to Stitch has got a 30% off until the 30th of November, no code required for that. I think I've made one of hers. Uvita, I think Uvita is one of hers. That's a free one actually. And By Handled London has also got 25% off until the 30th of November, no code required for that. Friday Pattern Company, the Ilford jacket I've made of theirs, they've got 25% off uh, and there is a code for that and that is FALL25, F-A-L-L capitalised and that's until the 30th of November. And then the uh, Vera top that I was wearing in my recent review that was a free pattern uh, it was by Forget Me Not Patterns and they've got 25% off as well. I found the free one to be really well written and well drafted so I can recommend her patterns and she's got some really nice patterns with nice design features on, in her shop. So if bag making is your thing, Spencer Og has got 15% off all of her patterns. Her patterns are relatively uh, inexpensive anyway but if you sign up to her newsletter she will send you in, a, in your inbox a code for lots of other companies that are based globally. So obviously PDF patterns it doesn't really Really matter where you are you're downloading them and printing them anyway but she's got discounts for uh, businesses across the globe well UK and Australia and, and America anyway so that's worth signing up to. Let's celebrate companies who consistently offer good discounts and are doing something a little bit differently. So not every company can afford big discounts it's been a tough year for quite a lot of companies I think. So I'm going to give Ellie and Mac a special mention every Wednesday, Wacky Wednesdays, not one but loads of loads of patterns that they have consistently week in week out for a dollar. This week it's the um, Chill Tea which is for men, they've got an, a couple more if you go to the website and then I think all their other patterns are three dollars and they do have a uh, a bit of a giveaway going which I'll mention later. Love Notions are another one, they do um, their um, Friday offer. This Friday they've got the Summer Basics tank and tea for five dollars. If you're not in summer, as we're not, she's got some really good tips on her website for layering it up and wearing it all year round. 
so that's just on her website, no code needed. I've made the Rhapsody Bows by Love Notions and I found that to good instructions and I have made, I've done a review somewhere of that as well. The drafting spot on as well. They really think about the size range and that pattern company. Joy at the Pink Coat Club who does all labels. She has a free pack of labels if you order over £25 on her website. I've mentioned Melisos before, she's got loads and loads of free patterns on her website if you sign up to her newsletter and she's offering, uh, if you buy a pattern, 50% off uh, your second pattern. And a special mention to the We Fabric Shop, somebody who I've followed on Instagram for quite a while now. They're up in Scotland, I think they've had a pretty tough year. They're not doing a sale for Black Friday, but if you buy any of their own brand kits uh, until the t between the 27th and 29th of December, they will make a donation to their local food bank, which I think is a, a lovely gesture. So on to fabric stores now, and obviously everybody in the dog have got have got sales on uh, with the fabric stores as well. So I just find shopping for fabric in sales is one of the most frustrating experiences of my life. You see a fabric, they've only got half a meter of it, or you know that it's a it's a roll end, or it's it's up on the wipe site and it's, it's sold out. I do find it really frustrating. So I really do prefer a remnant bin in a fabric shop, but obviously we can't do that now. You get, you know, you get more than the 10% off they usually manage. It's just a, a money saving mantra really. So if you, do you really need it? <laughs> Are you gonna use it? And you know, what are you gonna do, if, do with it if you buy it? Uh, if you bu Would you buy it full price? Uh, or is it just going to sit in your stash and make you feel feel guilty because you've bought it for no particular purpose? That being said, um, we'll uh, we'll roll along with a few. I'm not I, I can't do them all. So my fabrics where I bought uh, this jacquard from, they've got twenty percent off the whole site. This particular one uh, was thirteen pound forty five, I think, when I bought it. Although I did get a little bit of a discount, it's nine nine pound ninety six. Not available in this colour unfortunately but they did have quite a lot of it in beige and a small amount in white and coral uh, but there is 20% off their whole site but that is only for today I think. Uh, if you subscribe to their um, newsletter they, they tend to have quite a lot of deals on so just watch out for those. If you're in the States, uh, Mood Fabrics have got 20% off the whole site. I'm pretty sure that if you sign up for their newsletter you might get a deal on their um, postage as well. So the Boiled wool that was used for the coats that I mentioned earlier, that's included in their 20% off. I think everything's 20% off, so that's down to 23.99 a yard, and that's dollars. So it works out about £18 a yard, uh, so it's about equivalent of what um, Fabworks have got some boiled wool um, at at the moment. I'm pretty sure I paid a lot less when I bought, bought my boiled wool, so it's probably not all equal. That's probably <laughs> the thing about that. So talking about fabric, Fabworks, Fabworks is my local fabric shop, which is why I talk about them a lot. I can actually visit them when we're allowed to. I believe they offer a consistently good price. So they have said they're not offering any sale. They are celebrating the fifth anniversary of being online and they are giving away free lining fabric and thread if you buy their hat of Huddersfield range, which is a fabric that they've had they've commissioned themselves so it's exclusive to them you can't buy it anywhere else uh, that's been designed by them and produced for them that isn't a cheap option at all but if you go on their website they've got lots of lots of relatively inexpensive things that are not that don't have any deals on William G uh, they have a brilliant haberdashery they are based in London they've been going for over 100 years and they are a great alternative to using um, Amazon if you want haberdashery you can get just about anything haberdashery there I've used their interfacing really good value they have got 10 percent off their entire range i couldn't find a date on that one sorry if you fancy yourself some liberty they have got 20 percent off and it's free delivery over 45 pounds so just for that just says for a limited time it doesn't say for what date it finishes if you got two and a half meters of um of a 25 pound you get the free postage so that's it's worth it just to put that extra half a metre on, I think. Right, that's it for discounts and sales. I've done. <laughs> There's thousands and thousands and I can't possibly cover them all. I'd love to, but I can't. So I've got something for you to watch and listen to now and a little bit of exciting news. So I've been listening to Maria on So Organised Style. That's a podcast that I listen to. I like to listen to her when I'm walking the dog. Some of my recent favourites have been my pal Jane. She's been featured on there. They do a So Over 50 Thursday 
Jane's been featured on there, as has Jen Hogg, who was on the last year's Sewing Bee. Then she did a feature of somebody called Jo, who has a, her own podcast called Haptic and Hugh. And that sent me down another rabbit hole. Jo is, I think she's an ex-war correspondent. And uh, she, she's also a weaver and she just has a general interest in all, all things textile. And she's done a really interesting series of podcasts that um, the last one came out this week called Making Men. So that's not making your own man, that is men who may. That's been a really interesting series and it's just come to an end, but she's, she's going to be doing more. So it's worth, really worth going back to listening to them all. It's really well researched and she backs it up with a, a blog post on a website with lots more information, lots of pictures as well. So I think she said that was a lockdown project, so it's, it's really worth listening to. Uh, and also check out History Wardrobe on Facebook. I've mentioned History Wardrobe before. They are a northern sort of theatre production uh, company who I've seen live lots and lots of times, and I think this must be Lucy's little um, lockdown project as well. She's been doing some little, uh, I th she might go live on Facebook, but I've not, never seen them live, but the, the recording's there. And she's just got a little series at the moment, What Would Jane Do? Uh, and this is Jane Austen talk. She's dressed up as Jane Austen and she's talking about what she would do in, in this recent pandemic. So they're quite funny. So check those out. You just need to follow the follow her on, um, on Facebook. And that's the history wardrobe. So the exciting news is that there is a Christmas edition of The Great British Sewing Bee being aired. I haven't got a date for it, um, but the Radio Times comes out on the 8th of December, so the dates will probably come when that's being published. I'm going to have to read who the celebrities are that are on it because <laughs> I haven't heard of half of them. I've heard of Denise Van Outen, Shirley Ballas, Dr Ranj Singh and Sarah Pascoe. Vaguely have heard of her, but I can't picture her. They're in the first one, and then the Vivian. I think they might have been a drag race contestant. Leslie Joseph, I have heard of, Birds of a Feather, and Sabrina Grant and Sally Phillips. No idea who they are. Um, so, yeah, no dates for those yet, but Patrick and Esme and Joe will all be on that. So, yeah, that's that's my, my exciting news. So, some competitions and challenges that I've seen. I haven't seen very many competitions this week, apart from one on the Ellie and Mac Facebook page. And I haven't quite established whether that's open internationally or not, so whether I can open it, I can enter or not. There is various prizes. You just need to go on the Facebook page and follow their group. And there is a, a post that announces the competition. And I think you just need to like and comment on it and share it. Only problem is I don't have any Facebook friends that I can share, I can share it with. Most friends of mine that on Facebook, they don't so. So um, you don't seem to make as many connections on Facebook as you do on Instagram. It's a strange one, that, isn't it? Like I say, I've not discovered whether that's international or not. If I find out before I've edited all this and put it up, I will put a, a note in the in the show notes below so that you can decide whether to enter it or not. But it, it's definitely, it will definitely be open for anybody living in the States because they're, they're an American company. Other than that, the only other challenge that I'm aware of is the So 50 Shop Small Business. I'll put a, a hashtag on there. There is a prize for this one, unusually for so over 50. They do not they do lots of challenges, but they don't often put a prize with it. And the prize is from, um, I think it's two metres of fabric, from Linton Tweeds. And they have got some really, really lovely fabrics. You don't have to be over 50 to enter the challenge. They're trying to encourage people to use small businesses, sort of a, as a... A, a reaction to the um, Black Friday because Black Friday really it, it's Amazon isn't it <laughs> it's it's Amazon making a lot more money so they're trying to support smaller businesses so if you make a purchase out of any of these small businesses and they've all been small businesses that I've mentioned so far if you make a purchase of any of those tag them in on Instagram and you will be into, entered into that draw so that's that will be run until the end of November and I've not seen any challenges uh, that start that started in December yet. So this is my little community challenge for you. If you've heard of any challenges um, that, that are coming in December or any competitions, just bob them below and then I'll mention them in my next video. But since there aren't any uh, competitions, 
I thought I'd just run one of my own. I am very, very close to a thousand subscribers. And as if you've been watching any of these videos for any length of time, I've been aiming to get to a thousand subscribers so that I can have a little community tab within YouTube that enables me to put questions to anybody who watches these videos about what sort of uh, content you'd like me to provide, just so that I'm providing something that, that you want rather than um, just randomly <laughs> putting stuff up there. Talking into a camera and providing these videos is a very, very small part of, of making a video. So when you take into account all the editing and all the uh, research and, and everything else that goes with it, they do take quite a lot of time and I would like, I'm not complaining, I just like to make sure that what I'm providing is, is going to be relevant and what people want to see. So that's why I would like a community tab. So my, my big ask today is um, I'm going to fund out of my own money uh, a £25 gift voucher for any fabric shop of your choice. So it's open at worldwide and that way you're not having to worry about uh, paying for postage. I can give you a voucher for a fabric shop in the UK but it would probably just cover your postage, which is a bit of a useless prize, really. So £25 equivalent of a uh, gift voucher for any fabric shop of your choice. And uh, just as a favour to me, if you can drop me a comment below and just let me know what you would like me to, to provide. Um, I, are my 100 days of sewing uh, videos of interest, for example. I'm asking this because one of my most popular recent videos that's had uh, 1,500 views has been the, the October makes and then the haul ones, they seem to be more popular. Oh, they get a lot more views, should I say. So, and I'm lucky to get 500 views for some of my um, 100 days of sewing videos, for example. Now, I can understand that for some from some of them because some of them I've put up there as just to just to stay there as a reference. I'm not expecting people to watch every single one of my videos that I bring out. I bring out quite a lot of videos compared to a lot of other people. So they're what you'd call an evergreen video where you can go back and reference them. But I do want them to be relevant and I want them to be interesting. And I, they, like I say, they are quite a lot of work. So they do need, I do want them to be relevant and interesting. So if I could ask you to uh, like this video and subscribe and click the notification bell because what I intend to do, hopefully, if I can fathom out how, it, how to do it, is come back next Friday and announce the winner live and we can have a little bit of a chat if I can, <laughs> can fathom out the uh, technology to how to do that. Either way, Friday will announce the winner but hopefully if, if, if you click the notification bell that would mean that you will get notified when I'm announcing the winner either way. So as I speak today I've got 975 subscribers so if the, the prize would only be allocated if I can get to over a thousand subscribers and don't stop subscribing just if I get to a thousand that everybody who has subscribed and commented will get entered into the draw but the comments are a bonus and uh, if you can click the notification bell that will let, let you know when I'm announcing the winner. So that's it I think uh, we're dropping dark again um, so I'm going to go and get this edited and hopefully get it up before the end of uh, today because some of these are, uh, discounts are, will be finishing. So that's it from me I will be back on Sunday I think I've got a bit of a wardrobe tour coming up on Sunday uh, something a little bit different uh, on this Sunday so that's it from me I shall speak to you later thank you for watching bye.